Okay, so here we are guys. We're gonna go to game two with V52 and we're gonna play on Biohazard. Yay! Second game of the day and Synergy, however, scored here 90 minutes and 31 seconds. That's pretty impressive. It's gonna be a tough one. Mm -hmm. Let's see how these guys do. So looks like they have two sharps this time. Money, money, money. Wait. Didn't they have that last time? Same as last time. Oh man. They're stuck with their, yeah? their okay. familiar, I guess, perk layout. Mm -hmm. I'm just confusing like myself. Sticking right here. Captain That's spawn. odd. Very popular spot. I haven't actually played this map too much, so I'm not too experienced with it. Oh, there's um, the lounge room, which is one of the, which is the most popular pub spot. Mm -hmm. But then also helping here is very effective because it's much faster than that. Mm -hmm. yep. A little bit more risky. Hmm. Synergy also camped where in that spawn, so let's see which time you get the best fastest time. Mm -hmm. Well, high risk, high reward. Exactly. Usually, usually, usually. Sometimes no. Sometimes the risk is so high that's just stupid. I know I've done that a few times. Well, more than a few. Interesting they kept the um, support camping mm -hmm. here. It's going to be a bit less effective as a sharp just because of the distance. Yeah. Well, they're creeping forward a lot here. They're definitely um, blocking some spawns, as we saw in Cindy's game. Mm. We stay back behind at the site. The lesson spawn is just on the left here there. Oh. Where, they, where those crawls and stuff come from. Which makes it a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Still, we're going well. Yeah. Already ha over halfway done, and only two minutes. Mm -hmm. Last minute scrake, scrakes, plural. Couple of them. There should be no issues with the team though. Yeah. Running around headless. I I still find that ridiculous how headless teams can walk around. No matter how many times I see it. I still haven't seen a headless crawler yet though. They are not that healthy. Crawl's head goes down goes the rest of it. Uh, it'll be fun to see, but eh. Like one final scrape. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is. Husk. Nice dodge oh. by Ryzen there. And down they go. 3 meds, 14 seconds. To probably be set up around. Three minutes, forty seconds, let's say. Maybe not. Maybe so. I can't see the future. As you said last <laughs> game. I just need to needed to reiterate re again. Cause without the ability to see a future, I feel rather helpless. Looks like they're moving to a different spot now. Uh, yeah. This trader. <clears throat> I would be guessing it's the Yum Room, since that's a very, very common spot. Mm -hmm. Oh yep. yeah, it looks like the room. I never liked that room. We're gonna roll that door on the left. We're gonna roll it on the back as well. Yep. Very, very standard for this. Yep. We'll funnel all the, all the Zeds down that one corridor. Mm -hmm. Synergy also um, held here for one wave, hmm. but they left that bright dawn north and had someone out there to block the spawn that happens there. 
Oh. That's interesting. So it's uh, a different method, different approach. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes for you. I'm surprised the support's not more up front to try and mull things down. I actually commented in the last in Synergy's game because they had um, three shots in the demo mm. that if they had a support would be great for here. Yeah. So now actually BP2 having that support is actually much better in this one. Mm -hmm. Well. So that's five minutes. Doing pretty well so far. There are about wave seven. There's about sixty percent of the Zeth stuff. Yep. And so it's great for a demo and a support because they'll mm -hmm. just come all this clump up at the beginning there. And one wall placed grenade will blow everything up. Yeah, exactly. Except bloats, because bloats are stubborn. Mm -hmm. Them bloats. <coughs> Say they're being very, very safe, but all standing well back from the mm -hmm. entrance. It's good to be safe. That means they grew really hit them from there, are husks. Mm -hmm. But they've been taken out very reliably by the sharpies. Yep. Oh, oh it looks like I hit a little bit. Oh, here comes a flash pound and a scrape. And a raging scrape. There goes the bush brown. And, oh, there goes the scrape. The I think the back door has a few issues right now. Just one goal. Oh. Luckily, it's like <laughs> almost. Almost under the wave. Well, it looks like. I think at this point, you don't even need to weld the doors, unweld, and finish off everything there. Yeah, I think so, too. So the demo's just firing MPG mm -hmm. into the closet, which he has. Yep. Alright, that's six minutes. Six minutes. <coughs> yep, six four. They're just all welding that all the way past. Looks like they're going to be coming back here then, if that's the case. Looks like it. I do believe the, um... I believe the, um, the spawn camp is a bit closer from this trader, but... Mm -hmm. Again, we'll see where they go. Yep. They seem pretty comfortable on either spot. Something pretty for yourself. Oh, damn, we got a hand cannon. Money, money. One of the sharps also bought his M79. Mm -hmm. Let's check out their loadout. A very standard loadout. Sharpie's got a hand cannon, MK, and a crossbow. Yep. Support has a HSG and a hunting. And demo's gone with his two grenade launchers and a hand cannon. Mm -hmm. Looks very like they're having standard, very, very safe. Yep. Looks like they're having a bit of trouble skipping some trader time. The only trader time to skip was at the very beginning. It is a little bit hard on this map just because the trade was so far apart. Mm -hmm. Here comes the flesh bound. And there goes the flesh pound. Dealt with very quickly. Mm -hmm. They all got armor, so they should be good for a while. And here comes a scrake. So, as we're getting into wave eight, and they've taken about eight and a half minutes, what do you think the day finish time will be in the predictions? Uh, let's see, Synergy finished around 19 minutes, so that's going to be pretty hard to beat. Going to space, I think maybe 22 minutes. I'm reloading. Cover me. What about you? Uh, I think I think they could be a little bit faster than that. They seem to be they seem to be very efficient with doing so. Maybe four minutes in every wave. Hmm. So I'd say around 20, maybe 19. I think they're in it with a chance to beat um, Sneaky's time. All right. <coughs> See how it plays out. Uh, just for the record, I'm not placing down any bets this round, so I can still get a hundred bucks from uh, Jedi Mart. 
And that's a hundred Canadian dollars, not in-game dosh. I owe you nothing, Mart. Just for the record. Well... I don't recall any of that, there's no evidence of that. But the hundred bucks that he owes me, I've stated every time, every round. So there's video evidence. Don't gamble, kids. <laughs> That Gorfrath got a little bit close. I always did get no further. <laughs> With the firepower of the bit. Yeah. The support, plus the two sharpies, and nothing is getting through. Mm -hmm. I think nothing's getting close to them, really. Yeah. With that bell, that in case the 10 minute mark, I think they might be able to actually. Yeah. Well, nearing the end of wave. There are a few sirens behind it. Yep. That was too far away to actually help. Oh, they're being tricked with the float though. Oh, still got him. I hate sirens hiding behind bloats. Or other sirens things. Sirens hide behind anything, really. Yeah. yeah. Sirens in general, actually. Sneaky. Do you think the trader will be behind them? Ideal for me if they are. Yeah. I think you skip a lot of trader time. And that can make a lot of Looks difference. Like it is. And wow. Black I think. In and yeah. Out. In about a couple seconds. A little pipe So I like to say that was because I can see the future as well. But <laughs> deep down, I know it's not true. It was a 10 second trader. So that yep. was very nice for them. Gained a lot of time back. The last one did about a 5 second trader, so. It's, it's good, but maybe oh. could have been a little better. Ah, there we are. Great, just taken out. For the flesh bound. Yeah. Very, very safe. Mm -hmm. Here they are for again. You can see why this is a um, very commonly held spot for yeah. pub games. Oh, all those pub very games. Easy. Don't remind me of pub games. Very nicely. Bad experiences? Bad experiences all around. People dying. People yelling at me because I'm too far front not letting the tanks come in. People yelling at me because I'm too far back not doing stuff. People yelling at me because I'm kill hogging apparently. Ah, people. The set sounds like the issue is more with you. Um. No, no, I'm just gonna keep saying it's their issue. It's not my issue, it's their issue. It could go both ways. I don't have any kind of evidence to show it's not my issue, so... I don't know what's on the story here, it's not my fault. If you look at the um, the kill counters, you can see that Gus is laid behind everyone else. That's because he's standing back there to, um, to force the Zeds to spawn and go around the yeah. front as opposed to attacking the door. Maybe he's just saving his ammo to swap out with Ryzen later on. That also was a possibility. But I know from playing here that you have to have someone kind of standing a little bit further back just to mm. make sure that that's, that spawn outside the little door there on the right uh, goes the correct way. All these little mechanics that I never knew about. Yes, well. When you've played as much as I have. <laughs> Got a bit close, but fine. Oh, that one was headless, okay. So it was a bit cross, but then she up his head, that's for sure. <laughs> As anyone would be, really. Looks like someone's dropped a hand cannon. But why? This is a spare, maybe. Looks like that was Ryzen, Ryzen actually, maybe he ran out. Hmm. Let's take a look. I'm reloading. Cover me. Oh! He just picked ah, up and swapped up. Interesting. 
Oh, there's a lot of stuff in the corridor now. Yep. Two husks as well. Oh, those husks. Nice shot. Breaking a quad. Oh, looks like we're done. That ain't 57 and wave 9. Hmm. Then we'll place down some pipe bombs. They're... Are they doing a full trader skip? It looks like they are. Oh my good... Holy crap. You... What? That's gonna be... A definite... That's gonna be a big risk. Yeah. That might explain why Gus hasn't been shooting too much then. Because you see his position swapped with the rising that's right there. That's exactly the reason. Wow. Uh oh oh. Oh, break, break. So you have a little yeah, bit of an issue there? Uh, okay. The, wow. Very, very <coughs> nice. Looking at the ammo, we see that yep. Gus is essentially full on, or almost close to full on everything he has. Mm -hmm. They're getting pushed back a bit here. Just a mighty little strike spawns, it looks like. Yeah, but my goodness, this trader skip on wave 10, that's. That's a pretty. Ballsy. Yeah. Very ballsy move, but it's actually like working out for them. Mm -hmm. The demo is still spawning the ammo. So far. Alright, that in case of 15 minute mark. The spawns are a bit slow right now. Oh, they'll pick up. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> yeah, it always does. Well, there's another hand cannon on the ground. I think Gus will pick it up when he needs it. By the demo, I think. Hmm. It's not much ammo in it though, because that was um, the Rise and Skews one from the last wave. Ah. Uh, well, make every bullet count. Indeed. Like Deadpool. Lots of sirens, lots of strikes coming yep. up. Double strike. Sirens being escorted. Oh, nice shot. Uh oh. Alright. They covered up pretty well. That was well handled. So, Red Fox has lost all his armor, and Gus is getting pretty close. Yeah. They have about 100 left. Halfway. At a very fast time. Let's check out the ammo. With that, with that two minutes trade mm -hmm. time skipped. Gus is running low on his hand cannon. Ryzen's pretty low on his most of his guns. Everything. Yeah. That's okay, because he, he was the one doing the most damage the last wave. Mm -hmm. It's quite some work you've done there. Okay, so, and I don't have to be the crossbow, so I've got plenty of ammo to deal with the scrapes. Mm -hmm. And the Pipo still has over half of his M32. Yeah, wow. So, so the double push mount when they come should be an issue. <laughs> AK right now. I only see one. This one behind it. There's a second one! Oh. Oh, oh, they got it, okay. That was, that was very, close. Very close Fox dying. Especially with that Huss shot. Yeah. Looks like he was up on the couch, so it missed. <laughs> they can force back a little bit, but it looks like they're coming yep. back now. Looks like that trainer skip did pay off for them. Yeah. But they have about two minutes to match uh, synergy. Indeed. Possible. Maybe like kill the patty. Yeah. If you can lock the patty in this room, I'd say yeah. Scraping a clock left. Yep. Alright, 70 minutes. 41 seconds. 70 minutes 40. Very good time for this map. Mm -hmm. Just don't know whether it's enough to beat Synergy. It'll be very close. Maybe. Looks like they have the bottom trader. <coughs> bit of a run to get to. Yeah, it's a bit of bad luck there. Dosh, grab it while it's hot. Dual hand cans, dual flare revolvers, yep. Yep. Was that hanging back upstairs to that spot? Mm hmm. Looks like it'll be using auto trader time. 
or at least most of it. Let's put it at camp somewhere you're comfortable. That's really yeah. How do you work? Oh, I know. Spawn down below. He's going to take a while to walk all oh. That is unfortunate. Well, there's the doors closed again. Doors in this game are overpowered. Oh, so. But they don't stop the patty, though. Mm hmm. You freaks do look better dead. So we're at 19 minutes. And, pipes. and last but. Okay. So. Looks like he got away. Yeah, very close. Yeah. Almost had him in that first bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, they weren't fast enough to beat Shinji's time. Mm -hmm. Oh, just still one more round after. Oh, wow. And there he goes. Huh. Finished off very, very quickly. 19 minutes, 53 seconds. Close to Shinji's time, but just not enough. Mm -hmm. Well, one more round. Indeed, it'll come down to transit, the last map. Good old transit.